should not be able to fly. Go ahead. Its body is too big. Its wings are too small. But it goes on anyway because the bumblebee doesn't know that. I am not sure who put the fear of falling into my family. But it is all they passed on. Convinced that adversity is a bear that will swat you into the grass. We weren't meant to fly, they say. And I have been tasked with raising a queen. And the parenting advice that I receive is to caution my daughter that dreams are too big, that life is too small, the possibility she'll never take flight is too great, play it safe, they're advising to do what they did to me. The young bumblebee, ready to grab life by the antenna, sip upon nectar from outside of this monotonous garden. I remember the first time I was stung, right inside the colony. My mother squashed my visions of stardom. I learned later that it wasn't her fault that her mother had clipped her fluttering aspirations when she was just a larva. Stay inside the hive. Stay inside the hive. You'll, you'll thrive more if you just get a good job and make a lot of honey. I fell. But flat with vigor to my next blossoming passion, poetry, shot to me like pollen, brought it back to my elders and they stared with a thousand premature judgments in their lenses. They don't know what all the buzz is about, but I plead that when you are flying, success is seen in an array of colors. Life ain't always so black and yellow. The world is so big, their goals were just too small. You gotta aim high above rain clouds to avoid wet wings, so I journey in my mind to remember that I ain't no dragonfly, but I span just enough to stay afloat. And my baby girl, she is a chip off the old stinger. <laughs> All venom and optimism, testing the air, with hopes that get so high that you can pack it up in a dime bag and sell it. I will not drown her in that doubt. Scare her into thinking that she may leap from the branch, but she ain't guaranteed to catch a draft shit. She might even crash. Fuck that. I look a square in the innocence. I tell her, soar. You soar like no bug before you. You don't have to be a firefly to look like a star. You go to altitudes only the sparrows brag about. You touch God's eye. You show Icarus what he did wrong. And when you make it back, there are plenty of flowers in the field. You find where sin works for you. And you be whatever you want to be. And should anyone ever tell you otherwise, you say plain so their insect-sized mind can understand and say that Bumblebee's body, it is too big. And its wings, they are too small. And it shouldn't be able to fly. But destiny, destiny doesn't know shit about aerodynamics. <laughs>